Hello, data strategy professionals. My name is Nicole Janeway Bills, and today I'm going to talk to you about the Certified Data Management Professional Exam. The CDMP is offered by Data Management Association International, or DAMA for short. Attaining recognition as a certified data management professional can be a big boost to your career as a data strategy professional. It's a great way for anyone who works with data to broaden their skill set and to receive a valuable credential for their resume. So in this video, we will cover first, why the CDMP will advance your career. Second, an overview of the CDMP fundamentals exam. Third, the CDMP study plan, fourth, why I think the CDMP is valuable, and fifth, frequently asked questions related to the test. If you find value in this video, please give it a like or post a comment. Even something as simple as, hey there, enjoyed the video, and I am looking forward to taking the CDMP sometime in the next year is useful in terms of helping other people with similar interests find this video. Finally, please consider subscribing. I work as a data scientist and a data strategy consultant, so I'm often posting videos about things that I find that are interesting through my work. All right, well, let's dive into talking about the value of the CDMP. In this article, John Shalley shares that the CDMP is associated with job postings in the management, and leadership tier of available positions. While the CDMP may not be widely recognized as of 2021, it is highly valued among decision makers recruiting for those top tier positions. The value of having this certification on your resume is likely to increase over time as it becomes more widely known and perhaps eventually the standard for any role related to the management of technical assets. Here's a basic overview of the CDMP fundamentals exam. Your journey to becoming a certified data management professional could involve multiple exams, but I'm just going to start with the fundamentals exam, which is the first one that you would take. The test is open book and it's based on the data management body of knowledge or DIMBOK for short. The CDMP fundamentals exam covers the first 14 chapters of the DIMBOK. These range from data management and governance to data architecture and modeling to data ethics and big data. The DIMBOK is 600 pages long, so marking it up with sticky notes is very useful when it comes time to take the test. The CDMP fundamentals exam is 100 questions and it must be completed in 90 minutes. The test can be taken online through the Honor Lock browser, which ensures that you can't access any other windows while you're in the exam. As you're taking the test, you can flag questions and come back to them later. I really appreciate that the CDMP is open book because it models the real world conditions where you would have access to your reference materials. Data professionals are always looking up information in books and on the internet. That said, test takers only have 90 minutes to answer 100 questions, so that's not a lot of time. You must have a strong familiarity with the principles of the data management body of knowledge. This is where the CDMP study plan comes in. So this offering allows you to effortlessly ace the CDMP fundamentals exam. The CDMP study plan provides a study and review schedule to help you thoroughly internalize the DIMBOK in 12 weeks. It offers vocabulary and key concepts for each of the 14 chapters tested on the exam. There are also practice questions and an exam preparedness checklist to make sure you are ready for the test. Finally, because becoming a CDMP is about much more than just a test score, I've packed the study plan with extra resources for you. These include thought-provoking articles, case studies, and interview questions. So these will make sure that you're ready to apply data strategy in the real world. Sign up for the 90 day CDMP study plan and you'll receive three to four emails each week that will help you stay on track with your reading. If you're on a different cadence for mastering data strategy, 
you can sign up for immediate access to the CDMP study plan curriculum, and you'll receive all the course materials at once. So I'd also recommend that you request to join the CDMP study group on Facebook to become a part of this vibrant community that's helping each other to prepare for the exam. Now I want to talk a bit about why I think that you, busy data management professional, should invest your time in taking the CDMP exam. Then we'll jump into some FAQs. Scott Adams, who is the author of the Dilbert comic, offers the idea that success-wise, you're better off being good at two complementary things rather than being excellent at one. So whether you're currently working as a data analyst or a data architect, or if you're just somebody who's curious to learn more about how to break into these technical fields, the CDMP can give you a new energy and complementary skill of data strategy. Data strategy is a crucial discipline that spans end-to-end -end management of the data lifecycle, as well as associated aspects of data ethics, data governance, and key considerations around how to deal with what they call big data and what we might refer to as data science. So if you're looking to advance into a leadership role in your organization, an understanding of data strategy is essential. From a day-to-day -day standpoint, having mastered data strategy can help you work more effectively with other teams, eliminate dependencies, and get your work done more quickly and efficiently. Having diversity in your skill set allows you to problem solve more effectively, communicate better, and get your foot in the door when it comes to new projects. So let's turn now to some FAQs related to the CDMP Fundamentals exam. Is the exam really open book? Yes. Can I use a PDF? Yes, you can. It just needs to be on a separate device because your first device where you're taking the test will be on honor lock. So you won't be able to access the PDF on that computer. That being said, if you have a second laptop or a tablet with the Dimbok on that device, you can use that during the test. Okay, so should I get a hard copy or an electronic copy of the Dimbok? Well, that's really up to you. So there are benefits to both. I already mentioned the sticky note approach, which I found to be personally very effective. And I liked having a physical copy of the book as kind of a reminder to keep studying every day. And it kept me from getting distracted by going on a tablet and having access to other apps or the internet. Um, that being said, if you have a digital copy, you can use the control F function during the test, which could be a lot more helpful than looking things up in the index and then finding the associated page if the topic that you're looking for even makes its way into the index. Okay, so is there training available for the data management certification? Well, yeah, so DAMA offers training through the affiliated Dataversity website, but those courses can cost upwards of $1,000. By contrast, my CDMP study plan costs $59 and it will get you ready for the CDMP exam in 90 days or quicker. What score do I need to pass the CDMP? You need at least a 60% to be recognized as a CDMP associate. However, if you're going for a higher tier certification, then you would need a 70 or 80% score on the fundamentals exam. So to be safe, you should really be aiming for an 80%. You will also need to complete two specialist exams in order to be recognized at one of these higher tiers of certification. Well, I'm happy as a data engineer, data analyst. Why do I need to take the CDMP? I personally have found studying for the CDMP to be very useful in my work advising federal clients. And I see that the CDMP is increasingly requested on data strategy related federal contracts. So maybe it'll be useful in your field as well. All right, well, in conclusion, understanding data strategy turns you from being a data user into an empowered advocate for effective data strategy at your organization. I hope this video was helpful to you as you're studying to take the CDMP or determining whether or not to start studying. 
I hope to see you around in the CDMP study group, and I hope that you'll enjoy future videos as well.